Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm drawing yet another OC. What a surprise. <laughs> uh, but before I start, I wanted to once again apologize for the camera. It still has the weird motion wiggle. I tried every option I could find on my phone and nothing really stopped it. It just kept appearing. Um, I assume it's some kind of a focus on the motion <laughs> and maybe because my paper is uh, more on the texture size and maybe that upsets the focus, I don't know. Uh, I did see some video pro option but that was after I already recorded the, this one video. Um, but I will try it next time and see if that changes anything. If it doesn't then I'm sorry. Um, there will be clears of the wiggly sketch <laughs> on my videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, so uh, camera walls aside, um, today I am drawing a relatively new OC. Uh, his name is Reciferius or Recifer, or even shorter, Reci. <laughs> Uh, I designed him last year as a part of a personal challenge where I tried to design a new character every day for uh, a week. Spoiler, I did not manage to do it for a whole week. <laughs> I did last for about four days. Um, it wasn't that designing a character was difficult, it's more like uh, sitting down and drawing after work. <laughs> that was the hard part. Uh, otherwise, designing the character itself, or a like, new character every day, was kind of fun. I did get a bunch of really interesting characters, and uh, this one, Recifer, seemed to be the fan favorite. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when I originally designed him, he was just meant to be some kind of a minion for big bad evil guy who fails to stop the local heroes, and fearing the wrath of his master, he joins the heroes because that's always fun. <laughs> uh, and here I am redesigning him again and this time it is because I will play as him in a campaign which I'm joining later this month and I'm super excited about it. So um, a friend of mine is starting a campaign using the break system and I was invited to join! And, and it is a whole party of newbies, so and including the DM. So it's going to be a learning experience. <laughs> Obviously, I'm, I'm super excited. Um, reading about the world setting and everything, it just it just feels so whimsical, and it gave me that big sense of adventure. And uh, I know the DM is more into adventure story, so we'll, we'll see how it will go. I super can't wait, I hope you're all going to have fun. Um, about the world setting, uh, long story short, um, there was like a sun machine acting like a sun and until something happened, it broke, the pieces are all scattered around the world and the world itself is like split into zones, so there is like a zone in permanent nighttime. There is one which is locked in twilight and uh, there is one which is having like an eternal day. There is of course a lot more complexity in every region and there is like dynamic between the different nations and different things they're dealing with. Um, but these are like super details. <laughs> um, this, the whole system feels like it was made to have a lot of fun and it feels like it was inspired by a lot of JRPGs. I super vibe with the aesthetics and everything with which I got to read so far. Um, uh, okay, so um, I should probably actually talk about this version of Resfer, which I am remaking, redesigning once more. <laughs> um, so I picked the race Tenebrate, Tenebrate, Tenebrate. I sure hope I'm pronouncing that right. I wrote it, but am I pronouncing it right? We'll see. <laughs> um, that race is uh, more like tieflings, I guess, or maybe more like Aura, if I have to compare them to the Final Fantasy XIV races. Um, he is from the Wistful Dark. Um, 
so he was born in the area which is locked in permanent night time. I pick his history as a murk dweller. So he's very much used to all kind of dark and cursed oddities and he has this permanent deadpan face, so not much can face him. Um, so I got this idea, a little background idea for him, because I, I can't just roll a character without, without the background, you know? <laughs> I got this background idea for him that he was found as a baby by the Fae who live in the Merc, and he was brought, by, brought up by them. And so he's so used to all their shenanigans, that's also why he has the permanent deadpan face. <laughs> My DM eventually gave him more information and more lore juicy information, but I'll probably not be sharing this here. <laughs> um, when you make a character in the break system, you also have to pick a quirk for your character. And for mine, I picked the Mage Breaker. Uh, so Recever has this um, thing about him where he's more resistant to magic, good or bad. So he has a chance to bounce magic off himself or reflect. But that applies to all kind of magic, good or bad. <laughs> Uh, so I was thinking like he's probably being hired by locals to deal with cursed artifact or anything cursed in general because of his natural resistance towards these things and that's how he makes his adventure money, he just gets hired to deal with the cursed stuff. <laughs> um, and now he's on an adventure to seek even more cursed things, or maybe to expand his knowledge, maybe to get a better control of his own quirk we'll see where the story will take him. Uh, I, I, I never did mention his class, did I? <laughs> uh, he's a sage. I am playing a spellcaster. And I am playing a character who isn't overly excited about everything, everywhere, all at once. <laughs> which, is, which is kind of a new thing for me. Uh, not that I haven't played such characters before, but I tend to lean more on playing the upbeat time when I join things as a player. Uh, as a DM, I of course roleplay whatever the story requires, but as a player I am more on the enthusiastic and energetic side, because I feel like uh, I have to help the DM for some reason when the party just kind of gets distracted. <laughs> But now I am playing a um, more quiet character, more more um, practical, more more straight to the point, and that's going to be a little new to me. <laughs> so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it'll go. Um, I mean, that's at least that's the idea. I'm going with this character. Uh, but also that's not going to be the first time I have one idea for a character and I, when I start roleplaying them and when the whole story starts rolling and they develop into something completely different than what I originally thought. I am totally looking, looking at Marwins right now. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm, I'm getting distracted. I and, and, and I didn't say anything about the drawing process. Um, the drawing process, which was once again, I'm throwing things together and see how it turns out because uh, I am a very intuitive artist. I I just kind of vibe with the process. <laughs> and uh, truth be told, when I started this uh, artwork, I was feeling incredibly stiff, especially when line arting. I don't know if it's showing or anything. <laughs> um, it, it's because uh, due to the upcoming holidays in February, 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 um, work has been so so crushing once more, and coming home I've been just way too tired, so I couldn't draw anything through the week. And finally, the weekend counts. I picked to draw something for the video, and my hands just feel incredibly stiff. <laughs> and now when I think about it, I probably should have tried to do a warm-up or something, but I kind of jumped into this this video right away. <laughs> um, so I tried some new things to ease into the process, like I tried these water-based markers to 
maybe put some shade as a base. However, Recifer has a relatively dark and saturated palette, so um, I don't know if that shading did anything beyond just help my mind kind of get into the coloring process. <laughs> I think it was more like more for me than to get anything like a shading on the on the drawing. I don't know. Um, and I did originally line art with him with this wine colored fine liner, which I really really enjoy lately. Um, but he has so many dark colors that the line art got quite lost in the process. Um, I did get over with the black fine liner here and there near the end, just to kind of get more of the lines being more visible. <laughs> Um, for the background, I did want to have like a market scene, so it feels like maybe he's just arrived into where our first session will be taking place, into that permanent day area of the world map. Um, so I kind of wanted to get this this kind of a feeling on this drawing, but I'm also drawing on an A6 size paper, and that's really small. <laughs> I can't fit much detail there, so just blobs into the background is good enough. <laughs> and the, the background is not really the, the point, it's, it's a recipher, not the background. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'm not sure what else to say about this drawing. Um, I did enjoy it, even though, like I said, my hands were kind of stiff, I was... Uh, not super pleased with the result, but it's one of those that's like, it's good enough, let's go with it. Um, I know when I was uh, redesigning him digitally into this setting, I did pick a more purple-ish skin color, uh, but then I realized I don't have such a marker. <laughs> so I picked more of a gray one for, for his skin, and now I think it looks a bit too gray. Maybe I'll try to revisit that in at a later point. I will definitely be drawing him more as, uh, as the session starts and as we get to have more adventures. But, but yes, that's it. <laughs> Not too bad for my poor tired soul. Um, I'm definitely having fun with this mixed media drawing pad. Maybe maybe I'll do a little review and express my thoughts about it at some later point. Uh, because I've been using so many different mediums on that paper. Um, it's been fun so far though. Um, but yes, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for listening to my fumbles mumbles. I hope they were entertaining. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the process. and. Uh, learning about my never-ending supply of OCs. <laughs> I hope you had fun uh, listening about Recifer. We'll see what kind of adventures he will get into. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week and please take care and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!